Hello there. This is where the fun begins. Hey there guys, Unofficial Star Wars here. I hope you're all doing well, and in this video we have an exciting update for Star Wars The Acolyte on Disney+. Plus. We're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video, we're going to be taking a read from the Direct's article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. Disney Plus's Star Wars The Acolytes is set for a record-breaking runtime. Star Wars' upcoming Disney Plus series The Acolytes may have no solid release date as of yet, but it seems to have made its entire first season runtime made public. Leslie Headland's Sith-focused series caught the eye of Star Wars fans the world over. As the story looks to tell the first live action pre-prequel era story and the franchise's history set a hundred years before the events of The Phantom Menace. The project is supposedly set to premiere sometime next year in 2024, with filming officially underway in the United Kingdom as production's going on right now. Now, no specific plot details have really been made public on the project, but Leslie Headlands has teased that the project will ask, how did we get here, and why are the Jedi like this, leading into the events of The Phantom to menace. And just in case you aren't exactly in the know, Leslie Headland is the director of The Acolyte. Part of the point of The Acolyte Disney Plus show, as of from what we've learned from Leslie Headland, is that the point of it is to help set up for what we see later in the Skywalker saga in The Phantom Menace. According to a new listing, fans can now expect some record-breaking runtimes in Disney Plus's The Acolyte. A post on the agency site for the project's Intisimi coordinator Adele De Waldrop lists that the series has having eight episodes that will each be approximately 60 minutes long, which will seemingly allow at least one Acolyte installment to break the record for the longest live-action Disney Plus series episode. Currently, the longest Star Wars streaming episode belongs to The Bad Batch, whose premiere clocked in at 1 hour and 11 minutes, although that project was animated and not live-action. And recently on the live-action spectrum of things, The Mandalorian Season 3 just broke the runtime record with its third episode running in at 56 minutes long. So according to this report, we're going to have eight episodes, eight weeks, about two months of the Acolyte with episodes that are each around 60 minutes and above. This is also the first time that fans have gotten an indication of how many episodes the Acolyte will run with eight seemingly being the golden number. This is typical amongst the sum of its Star Wars streaming cohorts. Comparing it to The Mandalorian Seasons 1 and 2, both have 8 episodes apiece, so this listing puts the Acolytes in line with Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni's flagship Star Wars Disney Plus show. This year all being said, has the Acolyte runtime actually officially been revealed? Some will look at these numbers and scoff at their legitimacy, of course, as placeholder figures are used in this manner all the time. However, looking deeper at this agency post, these numbers might hold more water than one would think. If the Acolyte was the only title listed, then it would be more difficult to discern if the 60-minute figure was authentic, but the listing includes other titles with correct episode counts and runtimes. Other series on Adele Day's Waldrop's resume include Netflix's You Season 4 and Amazon Prime's The Great, which have 10 episodes at 50 minutes and 10 episodes at 45 minutes, respectively. Most of the episodes for these series come in right around their listed mark, usually within five minutes of their listed length here. So while every episode of The Acolyte may not exactly be right on the dot of 60 minutes, fans can expect the series to run on the longer side, getting closer to an hour that some of its streaming breath and sort of, well, struggle with. Now from there, that is where the article concludes, and as I had mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have this article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. So when we take a step back from this, our main takeaway here is that the Acolyte is going to consist of eight episodes long. That seems fairly concrete. That seems very legit. However, when it comes to saying that it's going to clock in at around 60 minutes long for each of its episodes, that is something that could be, well, a little bit up in the air. Now, the article does mention uh, its kind of credibility on that, as this, you know, uh, listing here would also include other shows outside of the Disney Plus spectrum, even, that do appear, of course, to be well accurate. This year, all being said, I think that this is our first tidbit here, really, and our first 
nod and direction for when it comes to the runtime and the episode count of the Acolyte. I think it's something rather than nothing. If this source, of course, does seem to get things right and correct previously, then I think that it could be rather trustworthy. However, really, all at the end of the day, only time will tell. Of course, if we kind of poked at a little bit at the beginning of this video here as well, if you're a little bit unfamiliar with what the Acolyte exactly is, the Acolyte is going to be a Sith-led Disney Plus show that takes place a hundred years before the events of the Skywalker Saga, starting with The Phantom Menace, as I had mentioned. Even then, a couple of months ago, we also had some leaked set images of the show, including different characters such as Jedi and Sith and more, and I have to say that the show looks whoa, very incredible. Now, a little bit of a fan theory of mine is that hopefully the Acolyte will poke at some of the ideas of Darth Plagueis as well, and the rise of Palpatine, I think, as well. Now, the overall premise of when it does come to some of the plot details that we do know about this show, or at least have heard from the different rumors, the Acolyte is going to follow the journey and the story of a Jedi Master and a Jedi Padawan. These two characters are essentially detectives in a way, trying to find out a mystery, so it's something as well I think that's a little bit different to Star Wars as well, throwing in kind of like a new different genre, much like how we saw with Andor, throwing in that spy thriller type of genre within the Star Wars, it worked amazingly, and I think that they can do the same thing here perfectly with the Acolyte as kind of a spy type of uh, detective type of thing. Anyway, of course, I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. What are you looking forward to seeing most with Star Wars the Acolyte? I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Of course, this has been Unofficial Star Wars. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.